Welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how we can check and extract URL from string. For example, let's say this is string one, which is having following URL, right? So that this string contains URL. Similarly, it can contain multiple URLs as well. So string three is containing multiple URLs. So what we want to do, we want to fetch only the string. We want to fetch only the URL from that specific string. Now, if you, if you see the string one, it is containing Google link is HTTPS www.google.com. So it is, this part is basically a URL and this part is not URL. So what we want to do, we want to fetch only the URL part from the string. Now that URL can be a single URL or it can be a multiple URL. Now let's see programmatically how we can do that. So again, we have to use regular expression for that. So what we will do, we will create one Python file. Let's create new python file. Let's name it as check urls from string. So we have created one python file now. So in this python file, what we can do, I'm going to use the same string. So let's use this string, these strings only. So these are the three strings which we are going to use. So string one, string two and string three. Now, again, for that we have to use regular expression. So we have to first import regular expression module from Python. So import re will import the regular expression module. After that, what we can do, we have to define, let's say we have to use ready-made regex which can be found on website. So there is a website called as url regex.com. So if we visit this urlregex.com so I have opened already that page so we can see for multiple languages they have provided the regular expression to find out URLs so for Python I'm going to simply copy this one so this is for Python and I'm going to PyCharm one more time so this is the regex which we, which we are going to use for finding the URLs after that what we can do We can use find all method from the regex to find out all the URL patterns or simply all the URLs from the string. So what we will do, so we will simply mention that let's say find all method we have to use. So regex dot not the regex we have to use re dot find all method. So in this method we have to pass two parameters. So first one is we have to pass the pattern or the regex which we want to use. So we want to find out the URL patterns, right? So we want to find out the URL. So what I will do, I will simply mention regex here. And after that, we can simply put it in double quotes or single quotes that will do. So let's put this regular expression pattern in the first place in the as a first parameter. Then we can simply use comma. And after that, we can mention the string in which we want to from which we want to find out the URLs. So I'm just going to mention that string one here first. Now string one is having this URL, right? So this URL should be fetched automatically. So this find all method will check this pattern. So this pattern is only for URLs. So it will check all kind of URLs which are present in string one. In string one, we can see that this is the URL. So now let's store this. So it will return the URLs, right? So we have to store it in. It can be a single URL or multiple URL. So you can store it in list format right so list variable we can save that so i'm just defining one variable that is my urls so this list variable will contain the url which will be fetched from find all method in the string one and after that we can simply print my url so i'm just printing my urls now let's execute this file or let's simply run this program So let's run this file. So it is simply printing our URL from string one, right? So this pattern is fetching simply the URL from our string and that is storing in list variable format because it's a single URL. Now let's try with string two as well. So in the first string, it was HTTPS 
format of the URL, right? So it, if you see the link, this is this is the entire URL link. In the string two, again this is the URL. So here hyphen is there. Here sorry, not hyphen. It's the forward slash. Again here forward slash is present. Here forward slash is not present. So both the both are them of both of them are URL only. So let's try with string two. So control C string two and let's pass the string two here. So it will check the URLs in string two. Now let's run this file and it will return or it will simply print the URL from string two as well. Now string three has string three. Now for string three, str three, there are two URLs, right? If you see, test link, it's a part of a string. It's not a URL, but this is URL, right? And test link two is this is also one URL, right? So it should fetch both of them from str three. So now let's try and pass str three. So instead of str two, I am passing str three, and we are printing my URLs here, right? So this is how. Let's execute this file. We can see here, right? So both of the URLs, both of them are present in our my URLs, right? So this is how we can simply use regular expression for URL to find out or to fetch the URLs from a string. So thank, thanks for watching. In the coming session, we will see some more example of Python practice programs. So thank you everyone.